Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautifully crackled Portuguese cornbread called Broa de Milho. Hi, I'm Sunim and I'm a food geek. Today we're going to be making a cornbread that originates from Portugal. It has a very distinctive look that comes from the very dense dough that when the yeast arises the bread, it crackles on top. It looks really beautiful. I'm sure you're going to want to try and make this bread. So let's get started. The written recipe, the ingredients and the amounts are linked in the description. Put 300 grams of corn flour into a heat proof bowl. Boil the water in an electric boiler. Measure out 300 grams of water and pour it into the flour. Make sure all the flour is hydrated by uh, mixing it together with a spoon. Leave it to come down to room temperature on your kitchen counter. Uh, it takes about an hour. Once it has come down to room temperature, add 100 grams of bread flour, 100 grams of mature sourdough starter, and 8 grams of salt. Put the entire mixture onto your table uh, without any extra added flour and knead it until it comes together. Uh, for a long time it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything, but you just keep at it and it'll turn into a nice dough. Form the dough to a bowl and uh, press it down slightly. Make sure uh, the ball has a very smooth surface. Mist the top of the dough with water and sprinkle rice flour on top. Use your hands to spread the flour completely evenly. This is going to help uh, get that very crackled look on top. Now let the dough proof on the kitchen counter under a dishcloth uh, at least three and a half hours, but you can easily leave it until the next day if you want to. Once you're ready to bake, heat your oven to 260 degrees Celsius, that's about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven doesn't go that high, go as far as you can. If you have a baking steel or a pizza stone, you should use that. Heat for an hour, so you're sure that the baking steel is completely saturated with heat. Add the bread to the oven, bake for 20 minutes, then turn down the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, about 445 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep baking until the bread is 99 degrees Celsius, about 210 Fahrenheit. It took about 25 minutes at the lower temperature in my oven. Take the bread out of the oven and let it cool completely on a wire rack. It takes a couple of hours. It's that easy to make Broa Gemilio. It's not that easy to say though. That's how you make Broa Gemilio. Broa de milho. 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 It's not difficult and it's a gorgeous loaf. Here at home, we eat it with dinner, with some butter on top, or uh, with some delicious olives. Let's have a look at this loaf in all its glory. Thank you for watching. If you bake this bread and you post it on Instagram, please tag me so I can see what you made. There's a link for my Instagram in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any future videos. See you next week. Pro Emilio, Pro Emilio, Pro Emilio, Pro Emilio, Pro Emilio.